Welcome back. 428, 730 AM, 102.9 FM, WTNT, The Truth. It's Andy Parks, live from the Washington Times. And it's time to uh, check in at times247.com. Editor Catherine Timp has joined me. Hello. Hi. What are you guys working on today? Our main story today is the U.S. Air Force has pulled nine of its planes to give to President Obama to use for his campaign. What? Yes, nine of the cargo planes are going to be taken from military operations and given to Obama to shuttle him around to different campaign events. Andy, this isn't what I thought they meant when they said they're going to have military cuts, but <laughs> yeah. this is an entirely that's different a, interpretation. Yeah, that's a that's a weird story. i got to check and find out more about that. that. That's interesting. That just went up? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Right. What else is up? Another one, um, Michigan Democrats have proposed to offer free college tuition to anybody who goes all the way through in a Michigan school, kindergarten through 12th grade. Okay. And that's going to cost $1.7 billion a year. It would cost. <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, Michigan doesn't really have a lot of money to be throwing around. Yeah, no money to be throwing around. I wouldn't want to be the one to tell the teachers unions in Michigan either that they're going to have to teach for free. Yeah. That is... Uh... That's very, very strange. Uh, mm-hmm. All right, a couple of good stories up on Times 24-7 right now. Go check it out, times247.com. Have a great weekend, Catherine. We'll see you on Monday. Stay tuned. More to come. Ed Kelly, the editor of the Washington Times, will be along in a couple of minutes. And Dr. Milton Wolf, Barack Obama's cousin, has a great piece in today's Washington Times. We'll talk to him all about it in about 20 minutes. Stay right here, 730 AM, 102.9 FM, WTNT, The Truth.